Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Red Flood, in which we're playing as, well, that there, uh, country of Israel. Look at that flag, and the thumbnail, but the first election to the Nasset. Now that the chaos of the post-independence has been dealt with, the time has come for Israel's first ever general election or to select its first prime minister. Now, I think I've technically read this before, so if you want to read this, please go right ahead. But we're going to go with Mr. David Ben-Gurion representing the Ma Pai, which is a progressive workers' party of the land of Israel. Also, we have, uh, which we've done before, Albert Einstein. We have Jabotinsky, which I will do eventually. But we're going to go with Ben-Gurion's Ma Pai, ah, victorious. Hello! Oh. Very cool, very cool. But let's go ahead and do with Ben Gurion ascends to power. The Mopai victory brings unity to the political left of Israel. With it comes a rebuke of the dangerous revisionists. May Israel's path be bountiful. Wow, this focus icon is so big, it covers his face up. Cool. And let's go with the founding of a nation. Palestina has been more of a mere province of the empire for millennia, not counting the kingdom of Jerusalem. It is yet not equipped to serve as a capital of a nation, but as there is a lot of work that must be done, and the current ruling party is progressive, which I guess, is that social democrats maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Like, revisionist socialists, progressive, popular socialists, vanguard socialists, anarchists, they just refuse to call themselves commies. But yeah, it is what it is. Cool. And more Israel. Modern industry. Ooh, that's not bad. Three more cities would be pretty good. Military factories. Anticipate conflict. That's a smart idea. Recognition by Britain. Or recognition by, yes. Uh, from the issue of... Ooh, look at that. Daily progressive support. Ooh, bacon thrown no longer. Very nice. Hopefully they pay, pray they learn from history. Let's go ahead and front the Yeshiv. I guess there's no other focus tree. Or no, not, not focus tree, but just, like description here. Oh, we got rid of Israel like description. I guess, you know, this path isn't very long. But I just wanted to see what this was like. So... Here we are! So, yeah, it is what it is, in which we have prepared defenses. You know what, we're just going to keep going down this way. I've done this campaign, the Israeli path, twice. And both times, I think I've taken superior firepower, so I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. So, I think it's because the AI set it up initially for us. So, we're just going to keep going and see what, what this is like. The issue of, oh, very nice. The founding of a nation, of course, as it should be. Because we can reward larger families, lose political power, get more multi population, but hurt consumer goods. Oh, that's not good, man. That's not good. So of the Negev, maybe cooperation or cooperation with the Beud Bedouins, housing projects, not bad, and a complete ne road network. Well, that's okay. The IDF is victorious. Oh, okay, interesting, interesting. Recognition by Britain. I think we'll do modern industry just because we could use more civvies. Um, it's kind of disappointing. I'll be honest though, that it's such a long focus time. I want more from David here. David, it sounds like a fun guy, but who can we choose here? More political power would be nice. More political power would be also very nice. Hmm. Alright, let's grab that too. And actually, since we're here already, uh, we're going to be using this division, the Leahy Militants, in which we are going to choose field hospitals because, well... Do we have motors? No, we don't have motors. Ah, maybe not. I mean, we're looking really bad. All we have are artillery, infantry equipment, and support equipment, so... We'll see. But, Yigel, Alon... I kind of want to go with him because we already have, like... We're already trying to do stuff here, and I don't want to be too busy, but I guess Ben, you can, if you really want to Ben, you can have it. I guess up next, really, I should just choose the this one. Taas Industrial Industry? Industrial Industry. Industrial Industry sounds like a oxymoron. Industrial Company. Oh, my goodness. I apologize for mispronunciations, my guys. Oh, former special commissions. Oh, we lose a lot of political power, but a lot of weekly stability, which would be very nice. Modern Industry, because that's going to be super, super important. Please tell me. More of these things, more of these focuses have, like, actual national spirits. For the love of God, please let me. Please let us have national spirits. Ooh, are we actually... We're demobilizing. That's not good. Um, there you go. We're not going to lose that manpower. Self-reliant production? Yes. That's also... Oh, my gosh. How does this not have a description? Ah! Anticipate conflict? Oh, my gosh. Ne none, neither of these... Oh. Why? Why do they not have it? But let's come over here first. Ah, thank you. Cool. But the mob moves pretty quickly enough that we can figure it out and do okay here without even doing that stuff. Research speed is okay. Encryption will be nice. Research speed decryption. I think it'll go with decryption probably. We're not accelerations for this campaign. Um, that's not bad actually. More construction speed, slightly more political power. It's not a lot more, but it'll suffice for what we need. And what else do we have? Uh, Prussian Congo declare one Kibu. That's nice. We can't choose that one. We can't choose this one, which is not great. And this one's better. Current ruling party is progressive. This one's definitely better than Dos Yosov. So Turkey declare one Armenia. We have eight factories going on right now, and we have no guns. All right, so we're going to go with two, and we're going to go with one, and go to one. As much as I want to make all this stuff, 
I think it's more important getting this stuff first, so. Let's trade away one of our steel, too. So, thank you very much. And. Stuff for line production. Ooh. More research is doing very awesome. 38, we're doing that stuff, which is great, great, great. We got all that stuff done. Not bad, not bad. I guess get some radar because you can. But after stuff for line production, we don't have to do anticipate conflicts. I think we'll be okay without that one. Uh, this is a 35 day focus. I've done this one like twice already, but. That's a lot of political power, even though we might not really need it. Do we just get some more? Oh, uh, was it first of the month? Recognize recognition by Britain. Yeah, we want to do that one next. Okay, there's still no description here. That is. That's actually really sad. I'll be honest. That's really sad. I was hoping that would be a description. Why is there no description? No matter what, we are still going to continue. It doesn't ma matter. Description or no description, we will continue. Because I just want to play as Israel, man. This is my third time playing as Israel, and I want more Israel, man. I want more Israel. He's really gonna attack though. Actually, can we we can manage just to go to war with them? That's 200 days though, so we'll see what happens. Just because we can do oh, I can't believe there's nothing here. Our neutrality, which is not bad, but we'll take a look at the other stuff really, really soon. October, of course. Um hmm, engineers, better artillery. It's only 82 days, that's not too bad. Our neutrality has completed establish the IDF. Oh, okay. Assisted by Germany. So we get some help by Germany slightly, but just really not an aggression pact. Or, break up Syria. Ooh, Kingdom of Syria destroyed British influence. Begin operations to remove Britain's influence from the region. Um, I kind of don't mind that one, but I kind of want to break up Syria. The IDF is victorious. That's not bad. Sinai and Golan. I don't know. So if that's the next one, we'll just, of course we're going to do this one first. But, I don't know. Uh, let's see. I played as this route. I played as this route as well. With the third temple trying to take out the Brits. That is. That is definitely a uh, image. Um, yeah, anyways. Cool. I don't know which way. Let's see. Insisted by Germany versus armed neutrality. Neutrality is cool and all. I do like to break up Syria, destroy British influence. Technically, I sort of did that when I went accelerationist already. Because you have to go to war with them. So, armed neutrality though. You know what? Just manually go to war with them, anyways. Non aggression pact. Huge opinion increase. Well, that seems nice. But declare war tetronauts goes up by a lot. I think we'll go assisted by Germany. Breakup series, okay. We're gonna just manually just find them anyways. So let's do that. Amon, how strong are you? Hopefully we can do well here. 200 days, very nice. And oh, well we have to do a subject idea first, which is fine, but assisted by Germany, because we can. Please tell me this other one has something to destroy British. Oh, why is there nothing there? Why? Oh, it's so painful to see that. But let's get some Rapa first. Cool. And if you're still watching, thank you. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it, guys. I do appreciate it. Um, I would stability is pretty good. I mean social democrat support or progressive support is like 50%. I keep saying social democrat. I don't know why. Maybe it is. I can't tell. Uh research speed, mass assault, superior firepower, mobile warfare. Wait. Why does the AI choose for us to go to Grand Battle Plan? But there's literally nothing here for Grand Battle Plan. What the heck? I just want to try something different, man. Okay, improved artillery. Ooh, we get some more construction speed. And we'll get, get some more planes. If we can actually get planes, it'd be really nice. Um, you're not done yet. Oh, that's not much. Yeah, get some more. Eh, go down, go up. There you go. We'll do it like that. That'll be fine. And we'll make a guys winning combo with, as well. Which. Are we demobilizing still? No, we're not. That's good. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Alright. We're lacking, you're just lacking so much. Oh my gosh. Special commission, we get more weekly stability. That's okay, we can do that already. Cool. This is by Germany and destroy British influence. Let's just go ahead and do create the IDF, the United Army. Get more army XP, gets more uh, command power, which is only 25. It's not much, but it is what it is. And we need time to do this anyway, so. And hopefully when we go to war, Germany can give us some good equipment here. I don't know how they're going to do, but. Let's see what happens. The Austrian Reich is looking really long and lang langy, though. Lanky. Very cool. It would help if we did create an agency. Ah, yes. Very good. So we can actually spy on what they're doing in Amman, because I want to kill them off. We need more Jewish expansion. It's going to be a while, though, but it's all right. Um, honestly, you can wait till later to do that. Cool. Get some more cap. Actually, you know, get some better guns. Even though we won't be able to use them, because we're out of, we're out of them by quite a bit, but whatever. It's all right. The United Army. Followed up with what? Establish the IDF. That'd be really good. More population. IAF. 
Ammo. Ooh, more factories would be nice. Go with IDF. We must create a formal army of the national defense. The militias that fought for our independence are desperate and disorganized, and will not survive without a proper chain of command. Not bad. Did we actually make more divisions already? We might have already. Nice. Nice. I don't want to use any more guys. I just wanted one spy. He's going to die if we send him over here, but that's okay with me. Worker unions or work trade unions. Not bad. Go get some more weekly uh, war spurn stability, but I think we'll spin him over here. Yeah, get that, get that stuff. It's not going to help us that much, but it'll, it'll help. After the IDF, acquire arms and ammo. What are soldiers without arms and ammo? A mob in uniform. A properly equipped army has guns aplenty and ammo to spare for each man. Which is very true. Which is very nice. Two more military factories. Very, very good. I wonder how much we can destroy British influence in here. That'd be kind of nice to actually see how much we can do. Oh my gosh. Special Commission has just obliterated our peepee. -pee. Oh, that sounds really weird out of context, but whatever. Acquire arms and ammo, very good. We can create a spy. Oh, Grand Assault, nice. I uh, I might literally just switch back to... Uh, I kind of already want to switch back to Superior Firepower because it's just the best one overall. But, let's go with this one. I'm going to try. I'm gonna, we're going to struggle. We're definitely going to struggle with this one, but whatever. All right, overall, not too bad probably for equipment. Yeah, that's looking not better, but we do already have 15 divisions in the field, so actually that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty darn good. Our guys are only 12 combos, which sucks, but hey, it is what it is, right? And get some more cap. There you go. Good. Follow it up with what? Destroy British influence? Yes, please. It's a 56 day focus, but it's alright. We'll deal with it. On this other that would be really nice, though. Um, but I think this will be better next. Because getting two more military factors would be really, really bueno. Bueno? Bueno. I apologize, too. At the time I'm recording this, it's like past 11 o'clock at night, so it is what it is. Uh, yes. Point through two, not bad. Ukrainian Cossacks. Well, at least they're doing well. Cool. And artillery's good. Golden. A little bit too out of time for me. Get some better engineers. We could probably use those guys. Our car arms and ammo. Nice, nice, nice. Anticipate conflict, of course, but destroy British influence. I mean, we gotta do that one. We just have to. Wow. 500% Russo Israeli uh, migrants. Wow, look at that. Nice. Keep getting that bigger population. We, only, we have less than 2 million people here, which sucks. That's alright. Start digging in there, guys. What do, they, what do they got over here? Actually, since we're here anyways. Yeah, go learn about their economy. What, what, what can we figure out? They don't have a lot of divisions. They got up to four factories maxed. Which means they can't produce very much. Which is fine with us. So after this one, we'll probably go ahead and do the IDF as Victorious. We need Sinai and Golan. And Victoria Zion. Attack on defense of core territory is very nice. Uh, reward larger families. I think it would do foundations in a set. Hot and set are the great assemblies of the main house of the government of Israel, owing its history to the ancient religious Neset, or traditional gathering of wise men and prophets. The modern Neset carries the legacy of an assembly of leaders. It is to be the highest or the legislative branch of government, with oversight over most of Israel's politics. Everyone loves Israeli politics, right? Um, this is probably a bad idea to do, but we can probably just go to war, right? Is anyone going to complain about us? Probably. It'd help you to go actually here. Nope. Oh, I guess it's taking me. Yeah, you have to go that way. That's fine. We'll get Amon and we'll be okay. There you go. Beat him up. You don't need that lamb. Nice. There you go. Yay! We got 2300 more guns. Yay! I don't know if we should form a puppet or not, but let's see. Well, we won. Foundation and a set, I guess. So we gotta keep going up this way. Infantry equipment, too. Very nice. And at least we got one of our victories down already. Great. How many guns do we not have? Only 36. Not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We need some more of this, though. Which is fine with us to get. Thank you very much. Oh, that's like quite a bit more. Yeah, whatever. It's worth it. It's worth it, right? It's totally worth it. So you guys head over here, and we got to figure out these guys next. Well, actually, hold on. The IDF is victorious. Sinai and Golan. Golan Heights. Golan. Whatever that is. Operation Yaakov, Negev, and Sinai. Oh, okay. Well, let's make sure our guys are, like, really, really good. We can actually stop doing that just because I want to make sure these guys are great. Not perfect, but great. So, 7-2s. Militias look very tanky, which is very weird, but whatever. Um, you can have this one as well. Which is fine, because we've got more than enough army XP. Do we need... We have motor... Well, actually, 
We're making, we are making motorized, so I'm kind of okay with that. Do you think we actually be able to win this one? You know, we could try it. Our divisions are not great. The longer we wait, the worse we get. Because if we fail, uh, I'll probably have to do some funky stuff here, but yeah, whatever. Go Cairo next. See where they up to. Infrastructure. They got a little bit of manpower. Uh, we've got no idea what they're doing over there, which sucks. So let's go ahead and do army department then. Cool. Foundation in a set. And that's so long to do. Jesus Christ. The law of return. Might as well. It's here by law in Israel. Every Jew has the right to come to this country as an Ola. An immigrant. Nice. It's fine with us. Fine, 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 fine with us. Cool. Would we be able to win this? I don't think we... Eh, it says we might be able to. You'll be leading the attack anyway, so it might be best to wait to get more artillery. We've got more than enough guns, though. Look at the guns. Nice. Very good stuff. There you go. Get more of that. Uh, minus three. What do you guys require? Is it grain or something? Eh, that's good. Let's do that one. That's fine with me. After machine tools, we're going to go and do some stuff ahead of time as well. We're going to get some improved computing machines. That's fine with me. Nice. Okay, so we can, can we figure out what they have? We're at 5%. From Intel Network, Intel Modern Factor factored by 0.2 Army Department, plus 25%. Field of Manpower, 30% Division Limits and Less, the Great Returning. What is, there, what is there to say to an approaching tsunami? What can be added with words to an incoming earthquake? All that can be done is to describe or try to describe very well. Blessed be he who gives in peace what he once gave in war, for once the twelve great boulders of Jacob marched to fulfill his promise over the dry bed of Jordan, with fire on the edge of the sword, and the innumerable branches of Judah and Benjamin are gathered in to be one of the people at once again, and the land of the promise, button, button text. So the Lord gave Israel all the land which we had sworn to give their fathers, and they possessed and lived in it. There goes Korea. Well, it feels bad for them. The sixth Aliyah? That's this one, because well, this one shouldn't expire, right? No one left behind. For now. We'll leave them behind later on, maybe. Alright, that's what could go very poorly for us. Promises to capital owners. Uh, weekly war support wouldn't be too bad. Let's go over... Oh, actually, can you get more attack? Yeah, we can. Uh, well, get more organization or get more attack. I want to get more attack for this one. That population would be nice, too. So let's save, and hopefully we can do well here. 5% more attack might not be very much, but it's better than nothing, of course. Cool. And let us start a war. Okay, so it didn't go. Oh, wait. Okay, so after this, if it doesn't go, I'm just going to take it, I'll be honest. Just because this has glitched out on me before. Which is really unfortunate. Because this is Negev, right? Yeah, this is, this is Negev. And it should auto-fire. Just It should just fire like normal. But I have it before where it doesn't, so... Okay, okay, it's actually working. Okay, that's good. It's actually working as... Oh my gosh, it's a mountain province. That sucks. That really sucks. We're probably going to lose this then. Um... Eastern Lancashire, huh? We're probably gonna lose. That's gonna suck. Yeah, I don't like that. I really don't like that. How are we supposed to win then? Like, why? Why are we taking down here? Negev is up here. It should be doing this area up here. Why? Why is it? Why is it up there? I gotta fix this. All right, everyone. So we're gonna wait to do the border war. We'll try to make our divisions bigger and better. I've already gone ahead and done the sixth Aliyah, and we'll do expand the Jewish agency. In order to properly process the increased numbers of Jews coming to Israel, the Jewish agency needs significant expansion with the designated branches for given regions and groups. Just because I want to get more encryption and decryption because that will help in combat, we get some more stability, we lose some PP, we get some more manpower as well, which is always very nice. So we'll do that one later on. We still need way more artillery. Way, 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 way more. But these guys aren't too bad now. They're 20 combo with, of course. So hopefully get some logistics companies. Also, I've gone ahead and added on this guy. So even though we get more defense, which we probably won't need too much. Maybe we'll need it right now, though. Uh, but we do get less supply consumption, so I thought that was kind of fitting for us. So we'll see what happens. Why is... Hello? Why are you catching a non-aggression pack, man? And they're not attacking us, which is kind of sad, but whatever. Is this literally all mountains? I mean, that sucks. Uh, it's, it's desert. Oh, man, that sucks. How about you and you? Let's see if you can come here. That'd be great if you could. Yes, you can. Awesome. Good. That'd be really nice. So we can attack up here next. Awesome. We actually made it. Look at that. Nice. There's only one division attacking, which is kind of sucky, but whatever. Yugoslavia, Montenegro. We got another spy. Yardin. Counter intel. Infiltration risk. Mosh. Nice. 
Let them bleed. Yes, yes. Uh, more Jewish agencies, please. Yes, yes. Wait, what? What? I saw it all of you except you. What the heck, game? Cool. Uh, immigration from Germany. Brothers to the south. We can kind of wait on that one. Uh, land forts. Coastal plains. I'd like to do that one, but several of the Negev. That'll be okay for us for now. Did you lose? Hold, ding dongs, hold. We need a way into here, so this is the best bet we got. Go, 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 go. Come on. It's only three divisions. Come on. Good hospitals are actually very good to have, actually. That's actually very, very good. Got some of that. We'll get some nuclear programs, maybe, eventually. And we have... Sort of water. Nice. You guys actually win there, maybe. You guys are tired and all, but still. Don't let them move. Seriously, that's, that's cramping our style a little bit here, so... One division shouldn't be able to hold it against three kind of okay-ish divisions. Actually, you guys can go there, too. Just hold them in place for now. Oh, they threw in another division. Are you kidding me, man? All right, well, we'll attack you then. We're going to keep expanding out this some way, somewhere here. We're going to do well. We should get some more planes. We're going to win here, hopefully. We've just won here. We're probably going to lose here for now. Good. We're going to win here. Oh, we cut them off. Go in, baby boys. And help out. Now hold. Good. Look at those two divisions dying. How many have we lost? 3,000? That's not bad. Oh, and now we get more breakthrough organization. Great. Tank stuff. Not going to really help us out if we don't tank, so it is what it is. Hey, at least we've got some conflict going on here. I want to get these guys more planning, though. Get more planning done. And then we'll get more attack. So if you do that, it just, it's just better for you. So you get attack bonus. And it helped with artillery, too, because we're lacking so much already. Oh, actually, since we're here, occupied territory, civilian oversight, local autonomy would be very good. Get local autonomy going now. Um, support weapons would be good as well. You guys come up to Aleppo, and but you do this. Cool. Very good. Research. Yes. Five. These are both mounts. It just makes more sense to attack here if we can. Please, please, please. Win, win, win. And get some research speed. Because we all love research speed here. If we just go around and that'd be great. Thank you. Great. And I'll let you go here. And then I'll go you. I'll go there. Nice. Uh, guns are going to look a little worse. Artillery's actually looking better. We have less than a thousand pieces needed, which is awesome, 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 awesome sauce. Cool. And you're going to die here now. That's why I set the two divisions up there, too. Set them together, and then we'll do cooperation with the Beoduins. Now, I'll do this one first. Anticipate conflict. Yeah, I like the one for it. So we can actually read this next one, so. Alright, so if they're so weak, you can just do that. You guys can do that, too. Good. Actually, I want you guys to go through here to there. And I have you guys go there, too. I have a plan, yes. Lithuania, go bye bye, yes. If they're taking us there, then we'll do this too. Nice, nice. Get in there before they do, please. You know what's good? You're going to, you're going to hold them in place, and there you are. Nice. And then you guys go up there too. There you go. Not bad. Much better than trying to attack uh, that one other group down there. Export focus. Well, we might as well keep the export focus on because we're doing okay. This one, guys, just go on in. You'll be you'll be more than fine. Any upgrades? No, that sucks. Any upgrades for you? Uh, yes, logistics would be very good, and throw plan would be very good as well. Good, good. What is Aleppo? Losses: six five thousand versus fifty thousand. I'm ten, one almost ten to one for casualty ratio. I think that's great. And of course, now we gotta do a Beirut, which would be very good too. 170 days, that's actually not too bad. That is not too bad, my friends. But let clear one of those guys. Oh, hello. Well, that kind of sucks. Turkey, what are you doing? Why do you want to go to war with us? Hatay, Golan, and Aleppo? What we do deserve that, man. The IDF is... Oh, it records one of the following. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, Victoria Zion. Okay, well, sure, why not? Victoria Zion, why not? Okay, they, they're doing stuff over there. Artillery is looking pretty good. Anti-air will be very nice as well, especially against these guys. So, let's throw on some anti-air here. 
Oh, so just the confidence would be so good, but I think we can wait. There you go. Uh, got it down by two, that's fine. And go there. Of course, we're going to anticipate some conflict. And then we're victorious! Have a cooperation with the Baudins. During your settlement project in the Negev Desert, we can't avoid crossing ways with the nomadic Arab, uh, uh, Arabic speaking population, the Baudins. Cooperation and mutual assistance with them might not only be possible but necessary if we wish to maintain control of our desert. And by God, it's one big old beautiful desert. Alright, power projection, sword efficiency. Oh, that's not really going to help us here, I'm sorry. There goes avant garde Germany doing their German stuff and the French stuff, so it is what it is. We might as well do nuclear theorists, which I never do. But we might as well try it out. I am a little worried about this line. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about this. I'll go put up some resistance if you can. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And after this one, I guess we'll have to do uh, cooperation, of course. We also might do reward large families, but, um, you know what? Italy thrashes the league. Oh! Sit, Romana, Poltens, Italia, Virtula, Propago. Propago. Cool! Um, honestly, oh, they ended their hostilities already. I think I'm just going to end the episode here. I know it's very short, but I think there's only going to be one more episode in this campaign. Probably. So, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know in the comments below what do you think we should call this. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.